I really don't know if if you can see this but it is disgusting I go through them slowly because I don't want to kill them and get them squashed against my paint but yeah we'll find another petrol station Street lights are extremely blinding. They're a terrible idea. Anyways, I tried to go to the spot to do some uh, launches with the limited slip diff, but there's some kind of security guard and some kind of thing going on there. So instead, instead I'm gonna turn on the draggy box and I'm just gonna drive around in Sport Plus yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what, uh, how the car performs, how much grip it has and all that. And uh, yeah, I'm quite eager to see it happen. So, yeah, it's got a pretty, pretty intense LED light of its own. I hope it doesn't slide around too much over there. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's see what the car can do. Okay, let's see if we can do a let's see if we can do a donut. Like, uh, Traction control should be off. Put it to manual. Keep it to first gear. And uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not an open diff.
yes nice nice so one thing is it's very challenging to film the back end kicking out so it's it's very difficult to describe it's very difficult to describe it and it's very difficult to film it but trust me guys the back end it does lose grip it does slide out it does it does make me go white every so often you know thinking I might lose control but the car is very competent, the car is very um, capable. Yeah, I'm gonna tear apart my tires with the limited slip diff and it's gonna be worth it 100%. 100%. Actually, the faster I get rid of these run flats, So there you go guys, in my humble opinion, the limited slip diff, what it does is make a car that was already a lot of fun to drive, yeah it wasn't perfect, yeah sometimes I wish it was more responsive etc etc, things that I'm going to address, but it just makes it, it makes it even more fun to drive, that's all I can, that's the only way I can describe it, the car was a lot of fun already. You know, it's a very fast car, that's very practical, there, there's nothing else like it out there, and and now it's even more fun, it's just, it's just that, it's just one level more of what it, what it offers you, it's just the next level, basically, uh, I, I kind of feel cheated by BMW then, in a sense, um, because they don't install a limited slip diff straight from the factory it's kind of cheeky of them because they're sort of cheating they're cheating most owners out of what the experience if you buy one of these cars with a three liter engine rear wheel drive you you most probably you want to have fun with it you, you don't just want a practical everyday you know economical car this is not an economical car you get the three liter engine with the rear wheel drive because you want to have fun you want to push it sometimes and you want to feel that thrill you want to lose grip and you want to you want to you know tame the beast kind of thing and it feels it feels more like a beast now it was always a beast it always had to it was always special but it just feels just that tiny bit more special now I'm a hundred percent happy I got the limited slip diff it just made the car complete basically 